All right. Uh, next one is Adi. Hello. Hello. Yes, you are audible. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, I basically uh, the bullish or uh, bearish spread banana tha wo stock option mein. A uh, two or three per out se uh, trade trade leta wo. To to mera kya hota hai? Mera matlab man lo mera view hai bullish view hai. To mera bullish spread banana. तो समझाया मतलब स्टॉक तो टॉप स्टॉक गेन गेन होने के बाद तभी रैंडमली वो जो आइटम 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 ऑप्शन इन मनी हो जाते हैं तभी तो इसमें लिक्विडिटी नहीं होती तो मैं तभी फिलहाल मेरा जो पोजीशन है वो कट जाता है तो तो मेरा क्वेश्चन है कि मैं पहले बुक कर ले तो बुक कर सकता हूँ कि उस मतलब मैंने दो तीन बार ऐसे किया हेलो हाँ आदि जी डेफिनेटली uh, uh, पहले पोजीशन बुक करना चाहिए स्पेशली अगर आप स्टॉक uh, ऑप्शंस uh, क्या खेल रहे हो ना अगर आप स्टॉक ऑप्शन बाय करके खेल रहे हो देन इट ऑलवेज मेक सेंस कि आप ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट में ना निकल जाओ इसका दो कारण है एक तो आपका एक तो आपके प्रॉफिट भी बुक हो जाते हैं दूसरा इफ इट गोज फर्दर इन द मनी ना आपके प्रॉफिट बढ़ेंगे बट वो लिक्विडिटी कम हो जाएगा तो जो आप जो एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉफिट आएंगे ना वो आपको लिक्विडिटी में देना पड़ेगा तो इट्स इट ऑलवेज मेक सेंस कि डेबिट स्प्रेड या कुछ भी बना रहे हो 25% से 35% में निकल जाओ बिकॉज़ द लॉस इज आल्सो उतना ही एंड यू आर मेकिंग अ सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑन द डेबिट जो आप पे कर रहे हो हां मेरा बहुत बार ऐसे हुआ सर मैं पहले तो मतलब डेबिट स्प्रेड बना लिया मैं पॉकेट बुक कर लेता हूं अभी प्रॉफिट बुक कर लेता हूं इन कुछ एक साल पहले मैं ऐसे करता था मान लो अभी पोजीशन पोजीशन रन करता था तो तभी मेरा मतलब इन लिक्विड के कारण लॉस हो जाता था पोजीशन में हेलो ऑल राइट ओके हां थैंक यू सर आदि आपको क्वेश्चन का आंसर मिला ना हां मिला मिला सर ओके ओके ऑल राइट अनिकेत यू कैन आस्क नेस नेक्स्ट हेलो हेलो आर यू आवर्स सो माय क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकली सिंपल वन आई हैव रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू द स्टॉक ऑप्शंस एंड इंडेक्स ऑप्शंस एंड आई हैव बीन ट्रेडिंग इन माय जीरो द अकाउंट फॉर लाइक Two months now, but I extensively use Opstra. So, what could you guys suggest for a amateur trader like me? Like I have been taking naked trades in my zero da, but I have getting like amazing results by doing hedging in Opstra. And re- my recent trade, which went very good, was a bull put spread in Tata Motors, and which I took with like very good conviction. बट आई लाइक आई वेरी मतलब मैं बहुत डर जाता हूँ हेजिंग ट्रेड लेने में इन विद रियल मनी सो वॉट कुड यू गाइज सजेस्ट टू एम एच योर ट्रेडर लाइक मी शुभम यू वॉन्ट टू टेक दी अनिकेत आई थिंक वॉट यूर ट्राइंग टू से आप आपका पेपर ट्रेड में रिजल्ट अच्छा आ रहा है yes 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 Uh, so even with even with bull bull put spreads, I think I'm risk, risk defined trades. Le rahe ho kya abhi? Ah uh, yes yes. Ah uh, net credit strategy use kar raha ho sir. Oh net credit strategy. Yeah yeah. मतलब आपने call मतलब आपने put uh, spread बेचा है Tata Motors. Yeah right? I I sold two two eighty PE in Tata Motors and bought two seventy PE with the same. Like I created that leg. Yeah so. हाँ सो अनिकेत आई अंडरस्टूड सो व्हाट आई थिंक इज की बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट स्टॉक्स आर आर मूविंग अराउंड अलॉट एंड डायरेक्शनल ट्रेड्स हैव बीन वर्किंग बिकॉज इट्स अ बुलिश मार्केट एंड मेनी ऑफ द ट्रेड्स दैट यू टेक डायरेक्शनली इन अ बुलिश मार्केट वर्कआउट वेरी फाइन इवन वी हैड अबनॉर्मल अबनॉर्मल हिट रेट इन आर ग्रुप एज वेल वेर वी शेयर द लॉट ऑफ ट्रेड डायरेक्शनली मोस्ट ऑफ देम हैव बीन बुलिश एंड दे हैव वर्कड आउट तो आई थिंक यू माइट हैव टू चेक अ कपल ऑफ साइकिल एज वेल बट अगेन आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट If you are in profits, uh, close early when you are even when you are doing uh, uh, risk defined trades, especially when you are doing risk defined trades. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's what I actually do. Like I usually book around forty to forty five percent of profits, which are def. Yes, that that sounds fine. Yeah, that sounds. But fine. Uh, okay. but okay. what happened is like yes, I have missed like majority of my trades, which went extremely well, but I exited at forty percent, and like. Ten out of four uh, to five trades went hundred percent profit, but I exited at very like we can say at very early levels. 
so this so this approach actually might actually help you uh, perform better in a range bound or a range bound market or uh, where there is less correlation or correlation or maybe stocks to the nifty if there are a couple of stocks only pulling up nifty and uh, uh, this might appro- this approach might actually help you that thing it might not help you in a roaring bull market okay. but it definitely help you majority of the time so, okay sir thank you so much <coughs> thank you for addressing uh, rahul you cannot yeah Rahul uh, you can ask all right i don't think uh, arpit you can uh, go next yeah uh, hi guys uh, so my question was uh, with respect to vipsos matlab uh, let's suppose you've created a delta neutral uh, or a straddle and you know it has moved one way uh, then maybe you adjust it and then the vipso comes so what has been your experience with respect to vipsos so this expiry to give uh, an example titan was 1900 went to 1800 or wapis it went to now it's like about 2050 so i'd like to know right. both of your uh, views on that or anyone else if any willing to share on yeah, the vipsos yeah. all right so uh, vipso uh, i do not worry much about vipsos so if there is one directional uh, move in one stock uh, i would go ahead and uh, adjust the deltas as per the move so let's say i started with a 17 delta strangle and uh, up move uh, came first i will continue rolling uh, the put up uh, and uh, cut down the upside uh, exposure and then if the vipso happens then again i'll stick to mechanics so uh the real vipso happens only in maybe one in uh, 10 trades so if you stick to uh, you know rolling your uh, untested side and uh, uh, keep managing the deltas uh, at all times over the large number of trades it will work better so my my short answer would be uh, stop uh, worrying about uh, vipsos and manage the trades uh, as as the move happens uh so basically there's a, there's a also a reason why we do not experience too many whipsaws when we are trading because generally when uh, we start with a delta neutral strategy and uh, one of the sides get tested we are typically under hedging so let's say we start with a 16 delta triangle and one of the strikes goes to 30 and the other goes to 4 we might ship the 4 uh, delta strike upward to the 15 delta strike or maybe say in terms of premium uh, we might sell half the premium of the tested side So if the call is trading at 200 and that call is getting tested, we might roll up the puts higher to the 100 strike, and the chances of whipsaw are whipsaw are far lesser. So we never we are not uh, delta neutral at all times in um, in all our strategies. So either way, even if there is a whipsaw, you should initially benefit, and real pain will only come through if the velocity of the whipsaw is uh, very large, which rarely happens. Right, and and in this I have covered in uh, strangle video uh, as well. Uh, wherein let's say we started with the 17 delta strangle and then the difference between the two deltas the put and the call if it goes beyond 20 then we roll the other side so that it uh, we we cut it down by half so it comes to around uh, 10 or something so we we don't make it uh, absolutely delta neutral at all times okay okay that helps that helps thanks guys yeah. uh, all, all right uh, may put up my question barani sir हाँ राहुल बोलो हाँ एक्चुअली भाव गिरी नहीं था कुछ का आई भी पकड़ा हुआ है एंड कॉल्स में बहुत ज्यादा है सो इज इट डज दैट हैपन विद इंडेक्स पर्टिकुलरली और इज इट मतलब इंडेक्स के साथ ही हुआ या फिर स्टॉक्स के साथ भी वैसा होगा तो उस केस में क्या करना चाहिए नो इट हैपेंस विद स्टॉक्स आल्सो इट्स नॉट दैट इट ओनली हैपेंस इन इंडेक्स इट हैपेंस विद स्टॉक्स आल्सो वी वी डोंट Uh, worry too much uh, when one side is not uh, you know uh, melting down and the other side uh, ivs are going up in fact that that's a good uh, thing for us uh, because if the market continues to go up we get better uh, credit uh, while rolling the puts up so yeah we we stick to uh, you know how how we trade 
and then if if the loss is uh, beyond the trade limit then we then only we get out otherwise we don't uh, give up uh, the trade just because the ideas are there okay okay so like uh, my next question is uh, like uh, last month uh, when we initiated uh, we had a discussion in last basic uh, discussion about dr reddy and orofarma so dr reddy had a position which i rolled down my puts to 4800 put and so now when it is when it has started rising up again so sh- at what time should i give it a- give up on it like i had a call along with it mere call bhi becha hua tha upar 4900 ka to ab wo bhi test ho raha hai to matlab isme bhi apne delta put- manage karte rehna chahiye ya fir isko kis angle se dekhna chahiye jab loss mein puri tarah se ja chuka hai aapka and uh, stop loss hit nahi hua hai to kis tarah usko cover kiya jaye अगर अगर लॉस में है और स्टॉप लॉस नहीं हिट हुआ है और आपने दो तीन बार ऑलरेडी एडजस्ट कर दिया है देन चांसेस आर यू नो द ट्रेड हैज सीन गुड नंबर ऑफ डेज आई मीन इट इज इट हैज बीन ऑन फॉर एटलीस्ट ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन डेज बिकॉज ओनली इन दैट केस इट विल हैपन दैट यू नो स्टॉक इज मूविंग बैक एंड फोर्थ एंड यू आर एडजस्टिंग एंड स्टिल योर a uh, loss limit is not uh, breached so in that case what you can think of uh, is uh, rolling to the next expiry i'm sure it will be it might have been close uh, to the expiry uh, when when you had uh, this position on right. so you might consider uh, shifting the entire position to uh, next expiry or if a, if a trade is not working out for such a long duration and you know it, you are continuously uh, on your toes trying to uh, adjust the position and manage it and then uh, maybe book loss in that position and look for uh, opportunity elsewhere nahi for example like dr reddy mein bahut upar ka puts mera becha hua tha 5000 ka becha hua tha fir 4800 mein aaya to wo pura loss pe hi chala gaya but theek hai wapas se dr reddy recover karega isliye maine next month ka puts ko roll up kiya hua tha ki 4800 ka fir se ek put bech diya and 4800 ka call bhi bech diya to usko kis point mein square off kar lena chahiye ki kis point mein ab loss usko book kar le ki matlab jab wapas 4800 aa gaya to overall pura position cut kar do ya fir और रोल अप करते रहे उसको अगर अगर जो आपका अंडरलाइंग आइडिया था ट्रेड का विच माइट हैव बीन हाई आईवीज and if if the ivs are still there and if the uh, losses is still within the limit then hold on to the trade agar nahi hai waisa uh, then you get out of the trade if the ivs have dropped stock is uh, continuously moving around and you are trying to adjust and still uh, the position is not coming in green then just book uh, the loss एंड जस्ट वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक अपने शुरुआत में इसके बारे में बात कर रहे थे कि मिनिमम इतना प्रीमियम तो कलेक्ट करना चाहिए तो आइडियली कितना प्रीमियम होता है जो अपने को कलेक्ट करना चाहिए जब अपने टू एक्स थ्री एक्स पोचर वाला सिस्टम फॉलो कर रहे हैं अनलेस इट इज अर्निंग बेस्ड ट्रेड वी लाइक टू कलेक्ट एटलीस्ट ट्वेल्व थर्टीन के मतलब कुछ और ओपिनियन है so because different stocks different volatility so might be different premiums for a very low volatility stock i have not thought about it but yeah i mean there has to be some figure which you are comfortable with if you are selling premium i would not sell a triangle for less than uh, 13 to 12000 but like last jab 10 5 din nikal gaye hain apne month ke fir utna premiums collect karna 17 20 delta mein 7 13 15 delta mein thoda mushkil ho jata hai so you avoid that trades ya fir uh, you have a थम रूल की हाँ इतना मिलेगा तो यू स्टेट में घुसेंगे वरना घुसेंगे नहीं थोड़े से स्ट्रेडल्स डालना शुरू कर दो या थोड़े से फ्लाइज डालना शुरू कर दो लेटर टुवर्ड्स द एक्सपायरी Uh, या फिर अगर स्टॉक्स uh, में बिल्कुल ही uh, नहीं है प्रीमियम्स uh, 17, 20 डेल्टा स्ट्रेंगल्स uh, में तो स्ट्रेडल्स या फ्लाइज अदरवाइज सिट आउट ऑन कैश थोड़ा वेट करेंगे ओके एंड जस्ट वन मोर थिंग इतना सारा पोजिशन अपने लोग का खड़ा है सो इट ऑलवेज हिट मी कि लाइक uh, कभी इंट्रा डे जैसे लास्ट ईयर ऐसा हुआ हुआ है कि मार्केट सडनली 300 400 पॉइंट्स तोड़े ही जा रहे हैं तो उस समय इतने सारे पोजीशंस खड़े हैं उन सबको मैनेज कैसे किया जाएगा मतलब शायद आप लोगों की तरफ से रिप्लाई आने में भी टाइम लग जाए दैट इज नेवर हैपेंड सो आई शुड आई एम नॉट जजिंग यू गाइस बट जस्ट प्रिकॉशनरी तरह से कि मतलब इतने सारे ट्रेड्स को उस समय कैसे मैनेज करेंगे जब सडनली मार्केट डिप खाए जा रहा था कुछ अगर आप लोग सोच के बाद में इसके बारे में बताना चाहे कि ये फ्रेमवर्क रखो इसमें कि मतलब इंट्रा में अब गिर रहा है तो स्टॉप लॉस शायद हिट ही हो जाए सब में जब 300 400 पॉइंट अगर निफ्टी इंट्राडे में गिर रहा हो तो ऊपर uh, अगर डिस्कशन uh, बोलो तो या श्योर राहुल आई डोंट थिंक अगर 300 300 400 पॉइंट निफ्टी गिरे ना आई डोंट थिंक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी हिटिंग आवर स्टॉप लॉस इट माइट बी सो इसमें ना हमारा एक मतलब स्ट्रेटजी है कि द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी लुक आउट फॉर इज अ नेकेड पोजीशंस राइट तो जो भी नेकेड स्ट्रेटजीज है अपने आई थिंक 
आई थिंक आई एम नॉट वेरी श्योर अबाउट द नंबर जो ग्रुप में डिस्कस किया आई थिंक 5 टू 6 होंगे ओके सो प्रोबब्ली द फर्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी टू रोल डाउन द कॉल्स ऑन दोस नेकेड स्ट्रेटजीज राइट ठीक है एंड उसमें भी वी आर वेरी स्लो विद आवर एडजस्टमेंट्स मतलब भारती में वी वर प्रीटी क्विक बट जनरली वी आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल अंटिल द स्ट्राइक वन ऑफ द स्ट्राइक्स बिकम स्पॉटी डेल्टा तो अगर 400 पॉइंट निफ्टी जाता है देयर इज अ हाई प्रोबेबिलिटी कि उसमें से कम से कम 60 70% शायद हो जाए तो वी विल जस्ट ट्राई टू कट द डेल्टास ऑन दैट रिस्क डिफाइंड ट्रेड्स में वी आर वेरी स्लो टू एडजस्ट एंड स्पेशली इन दिस काइंड ऑफ अ सिनेरियो ना जहां पे आपका वो गिर रहा है 40% इट वुड नॉट बी अफेक्टेड उतना भी आई मीन ऑब्वियसली देयर माइट देयर वुड बी अ लॉस बट नॉट एट अ स्केल व्हिच यू माइट बी थिंकिंग बिकॉज़ वी हैव अ कपल ऑफ बेरिश ट्रेड्स ऑन एज़ वेल अलोंग विद इट जुबिलेंट रेशियो है और एक दो कॉल रेशियोस भी हैं so it shouldn't be a that much of a problem the first attention khali hum log ko dena padega that is the naked strategy the naked strategy might only be matlab for me in my book there are maybe 10 but in the group i think there are 5 to 6 suggested okay fine and if it makes you comfortable i have not seen more than 2% uh, uh, day mtm intraday so far that was the worst uh, that i saw of my account size okay uh, that makes me comfortable All right, uh, Srinath, you can go uh, next. Srinath. Yeah. Hi. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Great. Uh, so this is in continuation to what Arpit and uh, Rahul were uh, you know, talking about. So last week I had a triangle of thirty six five hundred and thirty seven two hundred. So I was somehow uh, had a conviction that it might expire within this range. Uh, but there, till ma- Tuesday morning, it was all okay, and uh, there was a fall on Tuesday morning. So it went down all the way. The spot went down all the way to thirty six one fifty. So typically, what I do uh, is I sell on the other side, keep selling, and uh, uh, on the losing side, I keep a uh, uh, stop loss of a hundred percent of my premium, whatever I received, or I look for support areas in uh, Bank Nifty, and if it breaches that, I close the trade. So on the losing side, I just had a question. Uh, uh, you suggest uh, going for calendar spread or ratio spreads because on tuesday it, it uh, recovered all the way back to 36500 and above so uh, do you guys have any thoughts on that i haven't tried that so i am just uh, asking you guys okay chief yeah butterfly is something which i have suggested uh, adding butterfly when the short strike is breached so let's say if your put strike is breached then you can add a put butterfly okay Uh, buy a slide in the money put and then sell to uh, puts to out of the money puts and sure make make sure that the credit which you received on those two puts is equal to the uh, debit that you have paid for that long in the money put and then buy uh, uh, another uh, put to complete the butterfly so that is something which you can try okay. uh, second thing uh, uh, don't add extra options on the untested side so mm-hmm. if you are in a strangle and you have sold let's say two lots and market is coming down don't add uh, more number of calls because when if there is a reversal yeah, right. then your position goes for a toss yeah. uh, you know it, it looks very ugly uh, in case of a reversal so don't add more number of options just try to uh, cut down the deltas by uh, rolling the call uh, down instead of adding more number of calls right right sure uh, ankesh you can ask yeah Yeah, am I audible? Yes, everyone is. Assume yourself audible unless uh, we call it okay. out. Okay. First of all, Ashish and Shubham, thank you. Thanks a lot. I have been following your videos and uh, your strategies, and that has been working quite well for me. Um, my first question would be uh, uh, the strategies I also follow in uh, index Nifty also, and I think because of the bull run or because of uh the fast pace of nifty it is getting tested again and again at uh, the call side only so i just wanted to ask uh, ashish uh, the k- latest trade on iex that you shifted the tested side that is what i try to do in nifty when it gets t- tested a lot on the call side is it feasible to do it or there was some particular instance that you did on iex 
yeah it's it's not feasible in general uh, this uh, shifting the call strike uh, shifting the tested strike uh, is something which we don't do i don't remember uh, when i did that last time the reason i chose to do this uh, in iex uh, uh, were two there were two reasons one we had already shifted the puts twice so the initial credit which we have taken we have increased our credit on the uh, initial trade that we have taken secondly uh, the call side ivs were still very good so even though uh, we had to roll the call side uh, strike up then also we ended up uh, taking credit credit which was more than the initial strangle that we had put on so these were the two reasons uh, i decided to do this unconventional uh, uh, adjustment in in the case of iex and it was a clear breakout above uh, 600 it looked like a clear breakout so the chances of it going up was more uh, than the chances of uh, it uh, you know coming down and giving us a whip so that's why i uh, chose to uh, roll the call strike higher okay 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 and the second question is uh, regarding the softwares uh, i use sensible uh, and so the ivp technique there is not similar to opstra i think they do it on yearly basis opstra does one more thing that they give it on quarterly basis also so is it is it uh, reliably okay to work on sensible uh ivp we have always looked at uh, yearly uh, it's only uh, for some duration that we are looking at uh, ivp q uh, which is quarterly ivp which opstra has introduced uh, recently and the reason is uh, the uh, the ivs that were there last year Uh, for around dur- around this period were very high so ivp at this point uh, might not make as much sense as ivp q does otherwise we mostly look at uh, ivp only thank you all right uh, thanks ankesh uh, saurab uh, yeah thank you sir some basic questions are there uh, sir suppose uh, uh, there is a capital size of 25 lakhs so uh, every time you say uh, when you are the position size and you consider like uh, take this trade only if your capital size is 25 like means uh, is what it because the trade takes uh, i did not get that question shubham did you get the question i uh, mean sir suppose uh, uh, i want to short the reliance uh, uh, straddle 2400 call and put it takes only 1.3 like margin but uh, Uh, sometimes uh, you say that uh, should be traded by the 25 lakh capital only means by what does this mean yeah it's only because we trade based on exposure uh, so margin required is much lesser than the exposure of a stock so reliance exposure is 5 lakh uh, 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 6 lakh uh, uh, around 6 lakh Ah uh, yeah, around six lakhs. So we will trade a position in naked position in Reliance with a three lakh margin. So that's like two x uh, exposure. So the margin required to sell a straddle uh, in Reliance might still be one one and a half lakhs, but we will only take that trade if we have three lakhs in our account. And for the account size, we you, we, you know you can multiply it uh, by five. So uh, if three lakh is the margin required for uh, that trade, then fifteen lakh uh, becomes the account size, because that would give us two uh, uh, x exposure overall. Uh, yes, sir. that that's how we we try to do that. And sir, by saying this means we can take multiple trades in the same uh, account size. Suppose uh, uh, in this case you said fifteen lakh, so we should trade another stocks also, one one lot. Means Reliance one straddle, another one strangle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, yeah. And uh, in sir, in one of your video, I you said that uh, at any particular point of time, only fifty or sixty percent capital is being used. So uh, other fifty percent you never used, or uh, it's uh, used for the adjustment purpose only. it is used either for adjustment purpose or it, i sometimes take uh, intra intraday trades uh, for that only it is used mm-hmm. uh, otherwise 80% of the time uh, it's it's 60% of the funds that get u- utilized okay. for me sir kabhi matlab aisa time aata hai ki 80% capital positional mein hi ha 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 ho jata hai matlab ha ha ho jata hai overnight positional mein adjust karte karte ha ho jata hai wo हाँ क- नहीं एडजस्ट करते करते कैपिटल ज्यादा यूज नहीं होती है बट समटाइम्स आई गो बियॉन्ड टू एक्स एक्सपोजर आई गो अप टू थ्री एक्स ऑल्सो सो एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम सेवेंटी फाइव एटी परसेंट यूज हो जाता है बट दैट इज नॉट आई मीन इट्स इट्स नॉट एज इफ इट इज रिकमेंडेबल रेगुलर थिंग हाँ एंड बहुत कम होता है बट होता है 
और सर बाकी का कैपिटल जो बचता है वी कैन यूज फॉर द इंट्राडे पर्पज ऑल्सो ना विद द रिस्क डिफाइंड 0.25% और 0.5% टॉप लॉस हां 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 उसको यूज कर सकते हैं इंट्राडे मैं भी कभी-कभी इंट्राडे ट्रेड्स डालता हूं या सर थैंक यू ऑल राइट थैंक यू सौरभ निफ्टी ट्रेडर हेलो सर आप पूछिए सर दिस इज क्वेश्चन विद आशीष गुप्ता सर सर यू वेयर एल्युमिनी ऑफ एनआईटी अलाहाबाद एंड वर्क विद आईबीएम राइट सर राइट सो माय क्वेश्चन इज विद पर्सनल वे भी हाउ डू यू डिसाइडेड टू गो फुल टाइम मींस व्हाट वर योर क्राइटेरिया इट मे हेल्प अ लॉट ऑफ टू टू गो to become yes, full time trader uh, when did you decided uh, to hang your boots in ibm and then become full time oh after ibm That's i did a lot of things after ibm i did mba and then i worked with wipro capgemini okay, uh, okay, and it's only in uh, 2019 i decided to do uh, full time trading and that had uh, few things uh, few few check boxes which i uh, thought i uh, ticked and that's why i decided to do full time one was uh, i was consistently profitable uh, trading intraday uh, okay. secondly i had uh, enough capital base i did some calculation which i have explained in face to face discussion with vivek uh, so those those were the tick boxes uh, that i checked and uh, decided to do full time so uh, b- very basic thing is you need to be uh, profitable trading part time unless you have that uh, you can't think of full time and then uh, you have once you are profitable then second thing is how much capital is enough capital for you to trade uh, full time so i think i said about uh, if you have 7 to 8 times of uh, your annual expenses then you can uh, uh, go for uh, full time trading without uh, much deliberation okay sir and sir my next uh, question is regarding uh, some trading Means uh, like uh, in Lupin uh, last quarter, uh, I went uh, short all day, and then it opened four uh, percent down next day. So in that case, what were uh, uh, your first reaction is next day morning? And how do you adjust in that type of trade? Um, you 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 need to keep. Uh, I think there's some background noise uh, from your end. Can oh, you mute okay. yourself now? Yes, uh, sir. yeah it is better so i think uh, i'm not sure if i got your question right but uh, probably it was on lupin uh, managing websos or something uh, it went uh, up and then it came down no 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 sir last quarter lupin result came then it opened uh, i think 3 or 4% down next day so what would have been your reaction in that case means you cut the first your put side or okay, uh, okay, roll, got your, it, got it, got roll your call yeah. roll your call side means all right got it i'll i'll answer that uh, but uh, before that those who have requested can you please send me the request again i am not able to approve any of the uh, request uh, open request which are there so if you guys can either uh, uh, send it again then i'll try to approve again uh okay the question uh, so the answer to your question uh, is that uh, 3 3 4% is not much here uh we have seen uh, stock opening at uh, 10% circuit uh, where we had position in earnings uh, earning related uh, stocks so yeah we we uh, look for first 5 10 minutes and if uh, uh, we try to adjust the deltas and if uh, uh, it is working fine then okay otherwise we we take loss and uh, move on to next trades so first you cut your put side or uh, roll your call side untested side untested side whichever is the untested okay, side okay. Uh, we will uh, bring bring cut down the deltas and then try to adjust position okay sir i personally try to manage those positions with future but uh, but what for option uh, seller mm. we is not really much yeah we don't do much with the uh, futures okay okay sir. okay sir thank you very much sir all right